to show the government that they need to stop putting mental health services. So we organised a march for that Saturday, and I remember meeting Luke on a Saturday morning saying, with 50 placards under my arm, look, we're on our own, we'll sell a tape days to ourselves and just walk down the street, we'll be grand. And I think about 600 people turned up that day. That's incredible. So this was a march that you organised on the Monday. On the Saturday, 600 teenagers turned up to support you. Yeah, like, we've, like we see a lot of like um, marches throughout Ireland at the moment, because like, obviously certain things people aren't happy about. But like, we, I've been to all of them, but we've never seen this amount of young people getting up and actually doing something. It shows that actually something needs to be done. Because if I wouldn't have been doing that when I was 16, like, do you know what I mean? So it's just, it's absolutely incredible that they're actually doing it, like, you know, it's... It clearly resonates with people. Why do you think the teen suicide rate in Ireland is so high compared to the rest of the EU? Um, I believe it's cyberbullying. Cyberbullying plays a huge part in people committing suicide now, and it's, it's because of the technology that's available. If you're in school, you can be bullied in person, but when you're leaving school, they can get you on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, your phone, WhatsApp, all these things that are available on the phone, you can be bullied through now. So there's no, there's no sort of safe haven from it? There's no escape, there's no safe haven yet. And is there a stigma around mental health amongst teenagers, do you think, still? Um, yes, but like there's people like, uh, I don't know what he is, if I'm aware of a guy called Brezzy, but Brezzy is like, goes around and he, he's like, he was a musician and rugby player and stuff like that. But people like him and like the guys like Jim Breen, and just the people who are going out, do, uh, going to the around schools and all this kind of stuff. They're the ones who are, who are getting rid of the stigma. And it will, I think eventually it will lift. Eventually it will lift. But for now, it's just everyone needs to work together and do it. Like, you know, uh, we've planned a march that's going to be coming up like next month. So we're hoping to get all the organisations through Ireland. If we can get it in, like, even in the UK, it'd be amazing. Just get everyone together. Because if we're all fighting for the one thing, we need to do it together because we won't get anything done separately. Well, Luke and Jamie are clearly both very passionate. You deserve these awards. Congratulations.